Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. I know on your screen you are seeing all these uh, dolls and stuff, and you are wondering what's happening. But as as you know, with me, the way I really want to teach people, we are going to be uh, talking about backing up, right? And one of the things that I really want is for new drivers to understand the concept or uh, you know like of how the trailer and tractor work together because if you can understand that uh, the mechanic be behind the relationship between the tractor and the trailer and what have you uh, and what you have to do to get it into the hole then it will be easier for you uh, because now you understand the mechanics behind it so right now i'm just going to first use an example of let's say you have a piece of furniture right so you are home and then you are, for those of you that are married, your wife calls you, honey, uh, the UPS guy left the, uh, this piece of furniture in the hallway. We need to figure out how to get it in here. So let's assume that you have, you know, like a uh, very tight space. And then you are not supposed to hit any of this stuff because if you do, uh, uh, you know, like make, maybe you can dent them or their computers, you will... You don't want to hit any of the computers or TVs, right? Just making an assumption. But what we want is to get this piece of furniture, in this case, this bed. It is very heavy. We are trying to push it in because our wife wants it to fit in here, right? And so we are trying to push it in. But the thing is, we need this headboard. We don't want it to be like this because the headboard needs to be in like this. But when the FedEx guy came he left it here like this he didn't know he just put it there and he's like all right see you guys so now our spouse wants us to make sure that we push it in there she's very busy in the kitchen she has no time to help you out so you're gonna do it on yourself uh, by yourself so when you come the first thing of course i uh, i'm thinking you're going to have to do is to figure out based on the space that you have how are you going to get it in there without heating any of the stuff because you don't want to cause any any damage on any of your stuff right so the first thing you're gonna do of course is you are going to have to look at the space that you have and how you are going to put it in there that's the part of what we call setting up so it, when we are thinking of uh backing setup is very important because how you set up is going to determine how long it's going to take you to back into the hole that you want to back into it's going to determine the kind of effort you are going to use to back into that hole so setting up is very important now based on because you already when you know how uh, the mechanic of the truck you know like the tractor and trailer Everybody is going to look at a situation differently. So one person may say, uh, in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get in here and then I'm going to rotate the truck like this. And then I'm going to put it in like this, the furniture, right? Like that. And then somebody like uh, may say, oh, OK, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to turn it this side and put it in there and then push it in everybody the whole point i'm saying is everybody is going to look at a situation differently that's what uh, makes you know like sometimes there are questions that uh, people will ask new drivers will will ask oh how do you do this and they want a certain give uh, given answer that you cannot give because every situation is different so in this case that's why i'm saying that setting up is important when you come into a situation look at the situation and figure out what is the best way that you'll be able to get that uh, uh trailer into the hole without a lot of um wasting a lot of time and without you know like a lot of back and forth and without hitting any of the objects so in this case that i'm going to show you uh, what we are going to do is we are going to imagine we are pushing this furniture. We are going to push it slowly like this. And we are going to be very careful not to hit any of these situations. And we are going to go push it slowly like this. We are going to come here, pull this side like this. As we pull this side like this, we are pushing this side, right? So we pull this side, we come and push this side. We pull this side, we come and push this side. Then we start to push in. But as we push in, we don't want to hit that crib right there. 
so as we push in like this we also come and push here like this so that this um head starts to go that side right so we we are pushing while we also push here like this to make that pivot we push while we push like this and then we push in so let's get out the tracks and see what we are talking about all right so now that we have our tracks out um i'm gonna show you what i did at one of the customers that we came um uh, that i went to the video that you're gonna see and again that same idea is kind of the same thing right uh, you will see in the video later on but the whole point here is when i was coming in you know like i go to the customer this is the customer i'm used to so i know exactly what uh, was happening the only difference here is usually they have like two doors here dock doors that are open but this time one of the dock door had a trailer and um, so there was one dock door here that we needed to go into uh dock door number two right but i think there was a, a uh, maybe a container and then a truck that they were unloading somewhere here so when i came in the whole point was i came in like this and then i had to go because i'm gonna go in here and right here you'll see that it's kind of like uh, the space the space is it's enough space but kind of limited you can't go so much this side so when i come in i come in like this right and as i'm going to set up to get in here one of the things i want to be careful about is all this because this the truck here the containers here all those are stationary object the container right there those are stationary objects so I, if I hit any of those, that means I am in the wrong because those objects were there before I, I, I came in. So one of the uh, challenges that uh, drivers face, truck drivers, is sometimes you may miss seeing um, an object or you may, you may just miscalculate, right? Uh, so in this case, as I was coming in like this, I had to be careful to remind myself of all these objects remind myself of the trailer swing swing so i come in i come in close like this and then i start to turn so all this turning is part of the setup because you want to know where this end of the trailer is going to be by the time you finish the setup remember any time that we are driving the tractor tractor trailer it's really the trailer that we are so much concerned about. How is it behaving in the in the back? And if you remember how I was talking about, you know, like pushing the piece of furniture, I was pu talking about pushing one end while pulling the other end. So think of this end right here as this is where you have your, let me use this other truck. This is where you have your fifth wheel, right? So what is happening you, as you pull the fifth, the fifth wheel, it determines where the back of the trailer goes. So think of you pulling the fifth wheel while at the same time you're, uh, as you pull, this end of the trailer is going to go. Which side is it going to go? That is the kind of concept you want to get in your mind. So even as you are coming and making uh, those turns, you are thinking of the trailer. As I am passing here, where will my trailer, the end part of my trailer be? Because that will help you to prevent a trailer swings and hitting stationary objects while helping you kind of calculate where the end of that trailer will be by the time you make your, your turns, right? So as we are setting up, we are thinking of this part of the trailer that we are pulling. How are we pulling it? Because the angle at which you are pulling it for example, if I was like this and pulling it like this, how is it turning? If I was like this and pulling it like this, how is it moving? That is what we are concerned about. So in this case, I come, I came from this side. I'm almost like making a U-turn, but I'm paying attention, making sure I'm not hitting any of these objects that are stationary. And then I'm going to come in. And my idea was to end up in such a way that I'm like, kind of like that where my end of the trailer is pointing towards the hole I want to go in right so I end up like that and so like uh, how I was showing you in the example of the furniture my aim is to push this this side but as I push it this side 
I want to be mindful of that trailer, that side. So I'm pushing it in such a way that I'm pushing it back into the hole, but at the same time, I have to turn my tractor in such a way that I'm causing this part also to kind of push like this, right? So you want to think of that. How am I pushing it that way while at the same time getting my truck, my tractor to be here so that it can be able to push this trailer this side? Because I'm pushing back while I'm also pushing here. So when you are doing it, when you are, um, when you think of it, when you imagine it in your head, you are imagining you are pushing back, right? So you can go into the hole, but you're also, you don't want to hit that truck, uh, that trailer there. That means you are mindful of how you are also controlling this part so that you are pushing it this side. You are pushing while pushing. And how do you do that? Again, we'll see in the video how you do it. But remember, you, this is the pivot area or the fifth wheel. So you are controlling this part and how you control this part determines how this part is going to behave. So as I'm pushing back, I'm also trying to push this end this side. When I push this end this side, that part of the, uh, of the trailer is coming this side. Again, when you get that concept of the, this pivot area, and how you operate it um, to control this back of the end, uh, this part, this end part of the trailer is going to help you very much. So before you think of uh, do I turn left, do I turn right, think of the concept. Just like I showed you in the example of the furniture, I'm pushing back, but I also want to slightly push this part of the area this side. So the question to you, instead of you asking me. So do I move it left or do I move it right? I want you to think about it in your head. How are you going to how are you going to turn your steering wheel if you want this part of the trailer to go this side? So that this one goes this side. How are you going to turn your steering wheel? That is the question I want you to answer. Because when you understand that, it's going to help you in other, uh, in other um, you know, like situations, because you know what to do. You are pushing, as you push the furniture that side, you also come and push it a little bit here, and then you push, you push a little bit here, you push, you push a little bit here. If you want, you can pull up. In this case, if it was furniture, we would say, you can come and push it back this side like this. And as you push it back this side, in this case, for the truck, you will be like pulling like this, right? And then you push it back in there. Let's go to the video. Before we go to the video, I just remembered people asked me about these trucks, right? I have a couple of these toy trucks, like the ones you see in the video. And people ask me where I get this from. And the answer is you can find them on Amazon or eBay. And I think somebody was saying that they tried searching for them. They couldn't find them. And the keyword to use if you want to find them is the keyword model. Uh, you know, like use the keyword model because these are like model. Uh, you can call them model 18 wheelers, model uh, tractor trailers. But the keyword to use is the word model because these are just models. And they come in different sizes. Uh, usually they should be able to tell you what size, right? I don't remember if I got this from uh, eBay or Amazon, but I know that they are on both uh, both sides. So as you can see, I have different sizes. I'll show you. This, I have this one right here, the, like the smallest, and then I have this one, the second one, and then I have this one right here, which is slightly bigger. And then this was the very first one, the biggest of all that I have. I don't remember exactly what the measurements are, but uh, the people that sell them like have uh, measurements on there. And um, some of them are plain, like this one right here, as you can see, is plain. I was actually thinking of getting a sticker and putting, you know, like driver success on this one. And then uh, this one's right here, like, some of them have, like you can see that, 
now uh, some of them like this one does not detach right it doesn't detach it's just one thing but this one detaches this one detaches this one i think doesn't detach i don't remember if i have ever detached it but this one doesn't detach uh this one uh these stickers right here they came i just put them on they came with it but they were not i, I think they were not on there so they are removable but anyway to answer the question is you use the word model uh mod, model you know like 18 wheelers model uh big rig model uh 18 tractor trailer 18 wheel tractor trailer the key word there to use is model you should be able to find them okay so we've made it to the customer and anytime you make it to the customer the first thing that you want to do is to kind of scan and know your surrounding right of course for me i've been to this customer a number of times i already know but assuming you don't know your customer or it's your first time at the customer i know for sure we are supposed to park in door number two usually when i come uh door number three has no trailer but this time it looks like we have a trailer in door number three so i'm supposed to squeeze in those two doors so right now i have to look at the surrounding and know what is where because all of these are stationary objects that are not moving so i'm coming in i'm gonna make kind of like i'm making a u-turn so that i can set up but in doing that i have to be mindful of all these objects because they are stationary objects and it's my responsibility not to hit any of them usually when you are setting up you have to be very careful because if you forget where your stationary objects are you may end up like uh, your trailer may end up hitting the stationary object remember as we drive it's usually the trailer that we are driving so the way i'm setting up right now is i want to make sure that my trailer is gonna point to where I'm going, right? So as you can see right now, the way I've set up, I know I want my truck to go in the hole right there. So I start to back up. Again, based on how my trailer is, is what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna turn my steering wheel. So because I need my trailer to go in that hole, I look at it and then I determine how I want my or how I'm going to turn my steering wheel. So in this case I'm I'm going to pass as if I'm going straight. I'm looking at my tires and looking at the line. You remember how I told you in the other videos the line and the tires? Again, being slow, looking at your surroundings. When you are slow and you are looking at all your surroundings, you should have no problem. As you can see, I'm in there. Right now, all I have to do, I have put my trailer in the hole. Now, all I have to do is look at my tire right there in my mirror, and then I'm going to angle my trailer in such a way that I'm able to align that tire and my trailer in the same way right that's what i'm aiming for so again take it slow look at that as long as you are fine here you should be fine the other end even though you don't see what's on that end like i don't see what's on that end because i'm looking at my line and keeping my tire on that line to make my container straight i know i should be good on that side so right now i'm straightening it up to make it straight right so when I'm done doing that, when I look here, of course I'm also good because I kept this side well. 
so in that case you just back up but of course with me i'm gonna have to pull up because i have to open the doors and by the way that's another another point to make uh, sometimes it's good for you to first line up your trailer before you open the doors because opening the doors is easier after you have already lined up your trailer hopefully that helps all right friends until next time stay blessed and stay safe for those of you that want to be part of the jb hunt team we are hiring right now it looks like they've slowed down on hiring uh drivers out of a school but if you have three months and more of driving experience uh then i encourage you to send me a text via my phone number 877 moses 50 it's easier for me to respond to text or email than calls um it's it's very rare that you will really get me via a call so i encourage you to text me or email me i may take some time to respond but i will do my best to get back to you it's just that um between work uh family and some other stuff that i'm doing sometimes i am so busy but i'll do my best to get back to you and if you want to join jb hunt i'll do my best to make sure that somebody gets in touch with you to see what is available in your area if you have any questions concerning tracking concerning backing again just send me an email moses at driversuccess.com uh, at the website there is a contact information um, driversuccess.com there is a contact form you can fill out if you want to get in touch with me via that contact form all right friends until next time stay blessed and stay safe i'll catch you in the next one bye bye